Um, so we did 10 minutes live and 10 minutes embargo. If you want to ask a question, just raise your hand. Uh, Tony, I don't know if you want to go first. Thank you. Hi, hey, Tony. Um, was there any news? Everyone okay, I hope? Yeah, no, everyone, everyone was absolutely fine. Um, you know, so Conor Hurdahan joined up with the team today after his, his move to Sheffield United. And um, no, so we're, we're, we're all fit and ready to go. Would you think that Conor, because the move came so late and his travel over here would make, would that affect your thinking and whether to start it? No, no, I won't at all. You know, we've got a fully fit squad, obviously. Um, apart from the players who withdrew, in advance of the squad, but since we've announced the squad, we, we've everyone fully fit for the game tomorrow. Now, something I said to Seamus yesterday, but the fact that uh, Ronaldo is playing tomorrow, I mean, he's such a world figure in the game. Just your thoughts on him. I know there's plenty of other uh, players at Portugal, but your thoughts on, on Ronaldo in particular and the chance of breaking that record? Well, he's, all, you know, without doubt, he's, a, he's an outstanding talent and has been for. for um, Nearly two dec two decades now, really. You know, it's for such a long long period of time since he forced the marriage. But you're right that they have a lot of good players. So, you know, Portugal, a lot of good players all over the park. So, but from our point of view, it's a great game for us. You know, I think um, it's an important World Cup qualifier, and the players we feel we've got a lot of potential in our team. We've blooded a lot of players. Given 11 players a competitive international debut, we've given other players some friendly games, and uh, we're building a team, and we're looking for looking for you know to see even more progress with a good June window. We want to carry that into this window now, and with the game against Portugal, and we're looking forward to the game. You've got to see Portugal during the Euros. What, what struck you about them? What did you learn? What What do you think you, you can do to stop them and Ronaldo tomorrow? <coughs> yeah, I, I've seen them in, in Munich, of course, in the game against Germany 4-2, and I've seen them draw in Budapest with France, uh, which was a great an excellent game. And um, But I, I felt they were probably unfortunate to lose to Belgium in the end, in the, in the quarter-final. You know, they, they played very well in the second half of that game, so I felt they were, they were unfortunate. Obviously, the, the Nations League holders and the previous European champions, champions so they're a very strong team regardless. But, you know, we're, not, we're really focusing on ourselves. We've done our homework on Portugal. We know the strengths. But we want to focus on playing well ourselves and putting in a very strong performance here tomorrow night. Next question from someone. What's the problem with the mic, sir? You waiting for the mic? I, I, I need to come here. Close to the microphone. If you have one last question, if you guys want the microphone, then that would be really appreciated. So, next question, please. Dave, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that, you know that we have to carry an attack and threat. We can't afford to defend for ninety minutes, and you know it's not. It's not the way we're, we're set up to do that. And uh, it's not our intention. And um, you know we have to carry an attack and threat. And we cannot. Portugal have too much quality to sit back for for 90 minutes. It's not it's not workable uh, to do that. And um, we have to we have to have belief in ourselves to carry an attack and threat. And that that's certainly our ambition. And for someone like Troy Parry, obviously got a sports goal and actually kicked on a little bit well since he's got the ball. His confidence. Yeah, Troy has done well, and uh, you know, um, we forget he's still so young, and he's 19, and, and um, he, he's, uh, the goals that he got in the in the summer will, will boost his confidence, and it's always good to get off the market international level for every player, and um, so in him and other 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 young players, but <clears throat> you know, I think it's the, the balance between experienced players and young players in the squad now, and it's a good. You know, you can see the connection uh, between them and the good rapport, and uh, we need to, that to manifest itself into, into strong performances this week. And on that, Shane, how, how are you pointing that dynamic now in terms of over the last while with the new players coming in and the experience? Yeah, listen, um, 
I was one of them young players before, and you look towards the senior players for um, you know standards for the way they behave around the place for. Um, the pride they have in the shirt every time they go out, every time they meet up. So, um, as senior players, it's important that we give off that um, that example, and and the young lads learn from us as much as they can. So, um, you know, the mix is there, and uh, I'm quite happy with 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 how we are as a group as well. I think we've always been a together unit, and and that will continue. And as far as me and the senior lads go, will always be. Um, doing the right things, whether that be around the hotel or, or on the training pitch to show you know how important it is to turn up and and um, be proud to, to put on that green shirt. Okay, Gavin. Hey, James, uh, just given the whole world is looking at this game as a game in which Ronaldo might break the record, how motivated are you and players in terms of wanting to ruin the coronation, ruin the person? No, listen, it's not a case of ruining any parties or anything like that. Uh, I think, like the manager touched on, um, we've got to focus on ourselves. I think everyone in the room and everyone in the world knows uh, how important and how amazing Cristiano Ronaldo has been um, over the last 15 years. It's incredible, really, the, the numbers that he's uh, provided over that course of time. So, as a group, we've got to focus on what our plan is tomorrow and how we can you know, obviously stop them players, there's a few of them that you need to keep an eye on and, and what we can bring to the game, but um, yeah, listen, it's going to be tough, he's one of the best players that's ever played the game and listen, we're looking forward to, to getting out there and playing against them, but ultimately we will have our own plan and, and try and um, take that to them as well. Thanks, and just one for Stephen. Stephen, is match fitness your main criteria when it comes to selection tomorrow? Is it coming up particularly in midfield as guys who you haven't played a whole lot this season. Are they ready to play tomorrow night? No, you are correct. I think uh, you know we would prefer our midfield players to be playing more regularly with the clubs. It has been um, a bit disappointing for us that that, that is not the case. Um, however, three of them have secured uh, loan moves this week to to other clubs. So. You would imagine that they, they would get more regular football now, you know, that's the reason they've moved. And uh, that would be important for them, I think. Uh, so, yeah, that has to come into some of my thinking in relation to we need energy. You know, we need energy against Portugal, and that has to come into, you know, but it's not one criteria for the whole team. You know, it's not a measurement table. We have to take each position on its merits. On its merits. And um, so. Um, a lot of the players, some of the players that haven't started pre-season or haven't started their, their first opening games in the season, nonetheless have played games in pre-season, which was only a couple of weeks ago, and have had a full weeks, a full six weeks or five weeks pre-season before that. So it's not like the October and November window where they they won't have played for a long period. Some of them, it's not it's not that long since some of them have played games, even if it hasn't been competitive games. Paul, if you want to ask the final question of the, the live section, then we'll cut to the end. Uh, James, did you, did you play with, against Cristiano in the Premier League? No, I, I missed out on him when I think he left, maybe did he leave in 2009 or something, or 2010, I, I just went over. So no, I've not played against him, only in a, a pre-season friendly, but uh, tomorrow will be the first competitive game. Do, do you expect uh, him to play as like, some kind of central kind of striker, or do you expect him to... I don't know what the Portugal man manager will be doing, but I think from watching the last few years of Cristiano Ronaldo, he's been more more central, but everybody's dangerous as ever, so um, again, I don't know what the manager will be planning on doing. Yeah, likewise, um, he has been mainly used as a centre forward for Portugal, unless on occasions Andre Silva plays and he plays uh, slightly to the left of, of Andre Silva, but certainly uh, the majority of the games he's been played recently as a central striker. Okay, that concludes the live section of the press conference. So, can, uh, turn the full live feeds, please, and then we'll go into the Barbet section from everything onwards to the Barbet till.